Okay. So, yeah, we are uh, heading to the grocery shopping. So the reason why we're going there and we are doing this video because many of you asked about the uh, vegetable mix that you, you did that last That I steamed, time. yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting because even me, I want to show this video to my wife. Ah. So she has no excuse that she don't know how to do it. Right. <laughs> well, and the funny thing is, it's, you know, the vegetables don't cut themselves. Right. <laughs> so you, you have to cut them. But a lot of times they don't look when they're in the grocery store. They don't look anything like the way they do when they're cut. So we want to show you what they look like when you buy them. Mm -hmm. so that you can see the next step from that is just chopping them up and turning them into something steamable. Right. How often do you go to the grocery store? Well, I go to the grocery store nothing less than twice a week. Sometimes three times a week, sometimes four times a week, although that's pretty rare. I say between two and three times because I always need something and I and pretty much I want to keep things fresh, right? So the fruit and the vegetables, well, and the fish and the beef too. I mean, you want to buy that, you know, at least twice a week, if not three times a week. You don't want to buy it once a week and let it stay in your refrigerator for a whole week before right. you cook it. Right. And uh, what is the thing that you buy the most? Like, is it the avocado that you always try to get fresh or what is it? Well, avocados uh, and all the vegetables, which would be the butternut squash, the zucchini, uh, the cucumbers, you know, the tomatoes, all the things that, and the fruit, by the way, watermelon, bananas, apples peaches if they're in season pears if they're in season avocados of course but then you know you can keep olive oil on the shelf forever yeah so you yeah. don't have to buy that frequently but everything that's fresh you pretty much have to buy you know relatively frequently i don't mind going uh it's kind of fun to go to the grocery store i, I always like to look at people's grocery carts yeah yeah and then yeah. look at their bodies yeah. And you always see a correlation. You always see the people that are the largest with lots of carbs, with lots of baked goods, with lots of flour products, breads, uh, cereals, crackers, um, and lots of soda. Um, and then you look at the people that are lean for the most part, and they often have more fruits and vegetables and more lean proteins and more olive oil. So uh, I remember one time I took a picture of a guy was very large and there was all of his groceries on the conveyor belt at the cash register and one picture told a thousand words wow. <laughs> so it's true huh? you are what you eat you very much are what you eat yeah i mean obviously it's not the only thing because there's just there's a genetic genetic factor true. and there's also an activity factor lifestyle mm -hmm. factor yeah. But, but yeah you you can't you can't undo the sins of a bad diet you know, gyms in uh, Toronto are closed, right? I've heard. So, to me, if I was eating the same way when I was going to the gym, I know that I would start putting weight. Oh. So, I reduced a little bit my calorie intake. You have to. You have yeah. to, yeah. Because my activity level dropped dramatically. You know, a lot of people do the opposite. I hate to say, but a lot of people, once they stop going to the gym, they go, why would I worry about my diet now? Yeah. I might just throw the whole thing in the can until I, I'm able to do it right. Um, but you did the smart thing, which is if I'm going to reduce my activity, then I have to reduce my caloric intake. Yeah. So you just finished working out, huh? We just did arms. Yeah, me and my training partner, Mike Rackland. Yeah. And uh, and we had, a, well, actually we do arms, bicep, triceps, and abs, low back on, on this, this is day three. So, uh, yeah, we killed it. I mean, we, I call it killing it because, you know, I know what the right amount of maximum effort is. But some people who would watch our workouts would say, that's not what I call killing it. And they would say, well, then you're overtraining. So what I noticed, that, you know, when you work out, like you're lifting heavy weight, but you're not making noises. I'm like, not, I'm not screaming. Ah! Yeah. You know? So, I always see that people, when they lift heavy weight, there's always noises. So, you showed that you can get a great pump without all that. Well, you know, I, I'm working um, without swinging, without momentum. I'm doing isolation exercise and letting the muscle talk to me. 
the muscle tells me I'm working hard, as hard as I can. Uh, you know, we go heavy, quote unquote, heavy being defined as a weight that that limits you to four or six reps. Uh -huh. That's heavy, right? It's not a number of pounds. So that's what people are obsessed with is the number of pounds. I don't worry about the number of pounds. I worry about the amount of effort that the muscle is. is I don't care if it's two pounds that makes my muscle work to maximum capacity. Yeah. My ego is not going to get involved. It's not like, you know, how much do you lift compared to how much do I lift or how much do you bench or how much do you overhead press or how much do you, do you deadlift? I only about worry about whether the muscle that I'm working is working to maximum capacity. Whatever weight that is, is fine. I don't care what weight that is. You saw that, uh, oh, you're not strong if you don't lift your own body weight or double your own body weight. Right. Yeah, there was one quote from uh, one of the fitness magazines from years ago. That, and the question was, how much should you squat? Right. And the answer was, you should squat. If you're an average Joe, you should squat your body weight. If you're golden, you should squat one and a half times your body weight. And I thought, that's ridiculous. I, I weigh 200 pounds. And if I put 200 pounds on my back, that would feel like it's crushing my, not crushing, but obviously not healthy for my spine. And yet, that would be called average Joe weight. I would have to squat 300 pounds <laughs> in order to be golden, despite the fact that I'm Mr. Universe, Mr. America, uh, and far more fit than probably 99% of the world population. Um, you would call me an average Joe just because I'm not squatting. That's ridiculous. It's an arbitrary number. I, I don't worry about how much I squat. What I worry about is when I work my quads, I'm working to their capacity. Mm -hmm. When I'm working my glutes, I'm working to my glutes capacity. That's all I care about is whether the muscle is working to capacity. Never mind how much the weight actually is uh, or how it compares with somebody else's lift. The muscle determined the load. The muscle speaks to you. The muscle yeah. tells you, I'm working at maximum. Maximum is maximum. Do you think people are really missing the point and don't really uh, understand the language of the body and the muscle? Um, I think that people get caught up on the ego. They get caught up on whether or not they're, they're meeting expectations. We're going to put our masks on because yeah. we're here in L.A. and that's that's the rule. Uh, he's got to find his mask. I don't know where it is. If you don't, if you don't have it, let me know. I got an extra in there. Okay. This, is, this is the new reality for now is wearing face masks, but I don't really mind. I think I have one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, let's go to the grocery shop. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> We're going to Ralph's. See, that's how you wear your mask, right? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> so, so that you don't your fog up your, uh, so yeah. that you don't fog up your uh, your glasses. Yes. But you don't have glasses. Well, I have them. They just they can't see them. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I was giving somebody a tip today, and I said, if you don't want to fog up your glasses, you can go to the scuba store and buy that anti fog stuff you use on your scuba mask. So where are we heading now? We're going to go to the produce section, first thing. Okay. So this is your routine? You always do that? I always do this. I start on that side of the store and then I move to this side, Oops. To this side of the store. This is heaven right here, the produce section. This is where health begins. Let's go this way. We're going to buy some of those vegetables we talked about earlier. Yes. Oh, so, boy, look at these strawberries. Look at 
get some of these strawberries. That looks nice. We've got strawberry season now. So with some strawberries, but this is what we really want. We want a few of these. This is yellow squash. There we go. Put these in the basket. I never use the plastic. And we're gonna get some of these zucchinis right here. One, two, three, four should do it. So do you pick them a certain size or like that? I just look at like I, I avoid the ones that are kind of wrinkled, but they're all a little wrinkled now. I just like the bigger ones so that I don't have to cut up so many small ones. Okay. Alright, so uh, so let's throw one of these in there. So what do you use that for? We'll just chop it up, throw it in the steamer. Okay. And we're gonna go that way. So now we're going to go over here, we're going to get some of these beets. I see this is what the way beets look when they when you buy them at the store. So most of you guys don't know what these things look like unless, unless they come out of a can. <laughs> yeah, true. But we're going to buy them fresh and we're going to go home and we're going to chop them. That's what it looks like. And we're going to chop all of this off and then throw this into our vegetable mix. Well, I see that it's organic. Is that well, that's, the reason? Or? No, no, I actually bought the other ones in the non-organic section, but I don't see any non-organic beets, so I'm just going to get it. I don't really care, either way. Okay. All right. So now, we're going to get some of this butternut squash, which is usually pre-cut. Hmm. Less cutting I can do, the better. Yeah. Faster, huh? All right, so here we go. Our butternut squash. All right, now we got some bananas, don't we? I already bought some bananas earlier today. Let's get those avocados. They're over here. All right. All right, so here are the avocados. So Mo, why don't you hang out here for just a second? I'm going to see if these ones over here are more ripe. Okay. So here's what we got so far. No, they're, they aren't any more ripe. So no. these are obviously kind of green. And uh, and I've got some at home. So I'm probably like three days, two or three days from running out. So by the time we get these green ones, these ones will be ripe in two or three days. Four of these. Okay, we're gonna have four of these. Put that into the mix right there. Some people might wait, where are you going to the right section and the pasta? Oh and yeah, they might be wondering that, but we're not going there. Oh we don't buy rice. I I don't buy rice. I don't buy pasta. I, I try to stay lean. Oh. <laughs> All right. So these are sweet potatoes. These are fantastic. All right. Let's see. These are big, bigger than I usually like, but that's okay. We can cook them and then cut them in half. Three, four. That's enough for now. Four of those in there. certain ice cream. I usually get the diet I see. There aren't, isn't any diet I see over there, which by the way means pre-sweetened, but that's all right. Or artificially sweetened. Okay, I'm going to get, I like this stuff right here, which is mango juice, mostly mango juice. And what I do is I put a little tiny bit in the glass and fill the rest with water. 
Okay. Because it's just very, very sugary. So you don't want that much sugar. Yeah. You want to dilute it. A little bit is okay. Too much isn't. Do you use that sometimes the protein shake or anything? Don't use it for the protein shake because I like coffee and chocolate in my protein shake. So that wouldn't mix with the, with the coffee and the chocolate. Which, by the way, tomorrow morning you can see that blend too. We're going to make the protein drink tomorrow morning. All right. Sometimes we get eggs, but we don't need any now. But we are going to get some half and half of the coffee. Oh, yeah. Here we go. One half and half of the coffee. The other thing I get in this section sometimes is yogurt and sour cream. And the reason for that is because I make my own blue cheese dressing. Oh, really? So I buy fresh blue cheese, yogurt, and, uh, and, and, and sour cream, put it in the blender, put a little water in there, a little lemon juice in there, a little salt in there, and then you can use it on your salad. Which I sometimes, I didn't get any, any romaine lettuce today, but usually I get a little romaine lettuce. Oh, salad. So where did you learn how to do these dressing and blends? I just experimented. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's important for people to experiment. You know, I think people are afraid to try new things. You know, but, you know, like some, some of the ideas that I'm giving you, you can try. You know, otherwise you can just, you know, come up with your own ideas. Mm -hmm. Or just get, you know, get online. You see, if you like blue cheese dressing and you think there might be something unhealthy in it, all you got to do is get online and say, how do you make blue cheese dressing? And say, well, I don't want to put the sugar in there. I don't want to put any artificial ingredients in there, but you can make it fresh just with sour cream. And sometimes they, 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 they some people make it with buttermilk. But you don't need the buttermilk, just sour cream, yogurt, plain yogurt, fresh blue cheese from the cheese section, a little salt, lemon juice, and some water, and you've got your dressing. Easy. I think, I think that's a video by itself. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, so now, let's see, we don't need anything in these sections, at least not at the moment. We're going to get some salmon over here. All right. Okay, well, let's see if I can find the guy. Wouldn't you know when we're doing a video, there's no one working in the meat section. That's what I want right there. That wild caught salmon right there. I just want that piece that's right on top, but I can't get it because there's nobody back there. So maybe what we can do is on our way out. Yeah. We can ask the guy to get it for us. Okay. So why, why wild salmon? Um, I like the wild salmon because the farmery salmon has PCBs in it. I'm not an expert. I read, but my understanding is that PCBs are toxins. They're raising these salmon in these closed containers. And, you know, there's contaminants in there. They're not roaming free. They're in basically in a container. Um, and so as a result of that, they have to put antibiotics in there to keep the infection down and all this. As I understand it, there's nothing better than a wild now. Of course, it costs a little bit more. Yeah. It tastes better. But it's worth it. But it's worth it. Absolutely. So we're going to see on the way out. All right. Get some of that. In the meantime, we're going to see if we can get a nice New York steak. Mm. Coming straight from New York, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I'm, it's funny if you think of it like a New York steak coming from Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> or somewhere else. Okay, look at this. That's okay. I like New York. This is what I like right here. I like in New York City. So, so now I would never eat this big, this much steak. This is a pound. So what I would do, look at that, that looks even better. See, I like it when it's deeper red like that. Yeah, that looks better to me. So that's that's because it's USD prime. Pricey stuff, $22 a pound versus $14, $15 a pound. But what I'll do is I'll cut this in half and that will give us two servings. I saw someone saying now commenting, I think compound movements are so primitive. The compound movements what? So primitive. What do you mean? I couldn't see it. Let's see. Oh. Uh, compound movements are so primitive, you body will be kid, never do a deadlift or squats again. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. But we're going to focus on food here right now. Yeah. <laughs> Too many things to think about.
Here, we're gonna get some coffee. Oh, the coffee. Here's the coffee we're using. We like this Colombian dark roast right here. We're gonna get a, get a couple of these. Especially yeah, now that I'm here, one, right? I'm like using your coffee too, right? right. Here and let's go down this aisle. Here, I want to get some beef broth. Mm -hmm. Why? Why you need it? Well, I use it in my in my recipes. I use it for my. This is the kind I get right here. Beef broth. Did you get it? College in, collagen. Yeah. Get it? <laughs> yeah. College Clever, in. Huh? Yeah. College in. I'm gonna get two of these. And come on over here. We're gonna get some of our favorite canned tomatoes. Get a couple of these. Oops. Canned tomatoes. It's hard to uh, cut your own tomatoes. These are already stewed, which is nice. All right, let's go down this way. So, do you always come to this specific uh, grocery stop? I, I come here most often, and the reason for that is because I know my way around. Okay. Right. I can go to a different store. Uh, and by the way, this is one of the bigger ones. So if you go to a smaller store, sometimes you can't get all the things you need. Mm -hmm. So here's kind of a one-stop shopping. Okay. But um, also, since you know where everything is, just going up and down the aisles reminds you of what you need. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna need some olive oil now. This one right here is my favorite brand. Yeah. Of course, there's a million olive oils, right? I'll tell you, this is sort of a funny thing. If you notice the height of the bottles, this is the shorter bottle. It's the same number of ounces. It's 16.9 ounces, 16.9 ounces. This one fits in my shelf better. <laughs> this one here kind of like barely reaches. So yeah. I get the shorter bottle. It's the same same volume, but yeah, it, it's a shorter bottle. Okay. Someone say that I'll be going to the chocolate section. We're not going to the chocolate section, although I do eat sugar-free chocolate that I get at Trader Joe's. Oh, yeah? Is it dark chocolate? It's dark chocolate, but I don't get it here. So why do you, you, you get the dark chocolate? Well, dark chocolate is, you know, obviously tasty, but also it's got more antioxidants. Mm. But, um, but I don't want the sugar. And, and you can get a sugar-free chocolate that's obviously sweetened with some other natural ingredients, um, so it's not too bitter. But, you know, the thing that I try to stay most away from is, is, uh, is sugar. Okay. Okay, now look at this cheese section. This is a fantastic cheese section here. I'm a huge fan of cheese. And there's so many here to choose from, you don't even know where to start. Uh, for right now, I don't really need any, but I, sometimes I get the Monster. This butter case here is fantastic. Um, let's see, another one that I like a lot is the smoked Gouda. This what is, is that? Smoked Gouda. Why you like it? Um, you know what? One of my favorite snacks is smoked Gouda cheese with cashews and slices of apple. Carbs, protein, Carbs, and, protein fat. and fats. Mm. And it's you know better than potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on the couch, sitting on the couch eating potato chips. Right, exactly. Chips. One of my favorite lines. Yeah, I think we have to make it a T-shirt. Yeah. So here's here's one of the other things I really like is I like different kinds of brie. So again, same type of thing. I'll just put a slice of brie with an apple and some cashews. You know, a couple bites of that. It's a, it's a meal. What I try to stay away from, people are always afraid of dietary fat. What I try to stay away from mostly is starches and sugars. So if you can have, you can have fat. You can have dairy, you can have beef, you can have salmon, you can have olive oil, you can have avocado. These things all have fat. And your insulin level won't rise when you eat fat. You can keep your body fat down, and you won't be making cholesterol because you're not eating all the starchy, sugary foods that raise insulin production. So here's the blue cheese I was telling you about. All these wonderful blue cheeses that happen to have it at home right now. This is the original blue cheese that I typically buy. But you know, you just add this to some sour cream and some and some plain yogurt, 
lemon juice and water, as I said, a little salt, and you've got yourself some blue cheese dressing. Wow. All right. I think we're good for now. Um, Are we getting the salmon or? Yeah, let's let's ask him for the salmon up in the front. Okay. Let's see if I can find somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's what we got so far. Okay. All right. We're going to look for Jose in the meat department. Jose. So we're looking for Jose now to give us the salmon. I hope this uh, video has given you an idea of what <laughs> you're eating. Yeah, I, I, I think a lot of people are afraid of grocery stores. Yeah. I think a lot of people, you know, they go there they, and they don't even know what to start buying, but you got to get in there somehow and start exploring. What's that? Salmon. Okay. Ideal salmon. El salmon wild. El pedazo grande que estaba ahí, que estaba buscando, no, no te encontraba. No, busqué. Busqué. Me adelante a, a preguntar por ti. Okay. El wild, el wild caught salmon, el pedazo grande que estaba ahí. Wow, pero ¿qué es eso? El wild caught que estaba por ahí. No, 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 Oh, I wish. I wish I could speak French and Italian and Portuguese, and yeah. but I but no, it's luck yet. I, 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 I my parents, uh, my ancestry, my father's ancestry is French. Oh, French. Yeah, my last name is a French name, so I would like to get perfecto. I would like to get uh, uh, comfortable in in, sa in salmon in the French language. <laughs> Perfect. There a day that where you. Gracias. Thank you. Well, okay. So, is there a day where you say, okay, tonight I'm gonna spoil myself and I'm gonna eat something different than what I eat during the week? Well, the first thing I'll say is the word spoil myself. I don't know if I agree with that. I spoil myself every day because I eat exactly the way I enjoy eating. Okay. Salmon, so you don't have a New York steak, chicken, steamed vegetables, fruits. That's heaven to me. I yeah. love that. Um, last night, as you know, we went to dinner yeah. to have a business meeting with our video producer. Yeah. And uh, and we had, uh, I had meatloaf and, and mashed potatoes. I don't always have that. Is it my preference? Does it make me happier? No. Does it make me happier? It is nice for a change of pace. But I can't say that I enjoy it more than if I'd eaten my regular meal. Some people will say like, wow, you don't get bored from eating the same thing all the time. <laughs> well, look, I have to say that I don't. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that no one should. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, I'm a little bit different than most people in that regard. Mm -hmm. A lot of people enjoy food differently than I do. Mm -hmm. And it could be because they were raised differently. It could be because they grew up, you know, maybe using food as a celebration thing, yeah. a family thing, whatever. I didn't grow up that way. So I'm, I'm lucky in the sense that I think of food strictly as a, as a, as a nutrition thing. I think simply as a, a way of satisfying my hunger and at the same time taking care of my nutritional needs. So I'm not bound by recipes or right 
or gourmet or anything like that. But I think I eat pretty well. I'm, I, and I enjoy the taste of my food. I, I don't see the way I eat as being any kind of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh, look at this. This is just wonderful Heaven. stuff. I mean, that's what I was saying about looking at people's carts. If you look at this cart, you think, well, that's good eating. You don't see a bunch of cookies. You don't see a bunch of bread. You don't see a bunch of those packaged goods over there. Yeah. That's what they talk about, shopping the perimeter of the store. You heard that where you shop the perimeter yeah. and you stay away from all the packaged goods. You're not taking any of these? I'm not taking any of them. <laughs> okay. So we got everything we need, and then we will show you how we made the vegetables that uh, yesterday we had at lunch. That's the dessert right there. So these ones are uh, good, right? So let's start for them. Yeah, but we need to put them in bags. Oh, okay. Here's how Doug puts the grocery shop. I, I always like to help out. A lot of people just stand by and let them do all the work. I don't like them. I'll be as helpful as I can. Okay, we're going to put these in bags. Yeah, yeah. I'm very helpful too. Yeah. <laughs> just a camera holder. My, my arm is uh, about to freeze. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> What we had, what we had today, well, what we had today will last for about four days, five days. That's a good question. Um, this will last us about yeah, about four days, I'd say. Four days. Some things, some things less, some things more. Okay, have a good evening. All right. Nice. Good night. Have a good night. Never, never miss the opportunity to give a pretty girl. Yes. I like that. <laughs> you never know. Yes. <laughs> you know, and it made a lot of sense. Well, you know, we started the conversation, so we might as well just finish it. If she wants to, she, you might be able to find our podcast. True. True. So well, that's something else you learn. <laughs> By the way, the this, this right here, what we bought was one hundred and eleven dollars. Yeah. So, and we we didn't fill the cart. So groceries are expensive. Yeah. But they're not as expensive as going to the restaurant and buying the food that you know when you add it all up, it's less expensive than it would be if you went to the restaurant. Right.
a small car. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I've got a an electric car. I'm an i3. And so it's very quiet, very fast, but very efficient. Very efficient, very maneuverable. Uh huh. Uh, you stay here. I'm going to run over there and put my grocery cart. Sure, on. sure. Let's see what if we get as questions while we're driving. So how do you like the life so far? <laughs> Perfect. All right. All right. We're taking this to my house. Mom was visiting from yeah, Canada for a week. Visiting from Canada. So we're getting some business done. Yeah. And I've got to feed this boy. Yeah. So we're having some workouts and telling stories and telling jokes. We had a good laugh this morning, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah, that was. We're not going to tell you the joke, but it was really funny. We were laughing to the point where we were crying. And I almost had a cramp. <laughs> I, honestly, like, I didn't laugh like that for for a while. Well, I'm sorry, we cannot tell you the joke, but it was really funny. <laughs> All right, so I live probably about 15 minutes from this grocery store. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna drive home and we're gonna probably sign off now so we don't wanna bore you with a 15 minute drive. Yes. But we're grateful to have you watching us. Yeah. And uh, grateful for the opportunity to show you what groceries I typically buy and this precedes the lesson on how we chop them and steam them and yeah. and then this morning or yesterday you saw the lesson on how we throw them into the bowl yeah we make our i make my my sauce my dressing with my mashed avocado and the olive oil uh, and the mustard and the salt sometimes i use garlic powder sometimes i use lemon it just depends what i'm making what i'm in the mood for sometimes i use chopped pecans um but i eat about four times a day I always eat healthy like this, and it really pays off both in terms of my blood test results and in my muscle gain and my body fat level. Perfect. So, on that note, yeah. thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. We will show you how we chop them, right? We'll show you yeah. later how we chop we'll them. We'll show you. Stay tuned. So, if you want to know about that, subscribe to the channel, and you will get notified. Right. See you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.